Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the second Australia vlog. We have woke up this morning, it is day, I guess it's day two today. I feel like I'm still a bit like not with the time zone, like we had a long nap yesterday. And I feel like we might have beaten jet lag now, but oh my god, I yesterday. Haven't. I haven't. You've, you've I never beat jet lag. I until 4 a.m. I'm doing what? Right. Editing because I couldn't sleep. Really? Maybe we shouldn't have had that nap then, but I feel like that nap sorted me out. But anyway, today we are, well we're still in Sydney actually, this is our last full day in Sydney. We've got a really exciting day today. We're actually filming a main channel video for my channel before we head out and then we're going to Karen's diner today which I'm so excited for. We've already been to the Manchester one. Jazz and Soph haven't actually so I'm excited for them to experience it but it is going to be so much fun and then we're also going, where is it we're going to stay Haz? Man Manly Beach. Manly Beach. We're going to get the ferry over to Manly Beach which will be fun and then we're actually leaving Sydney tomorrow on our first overnight bus and heading to Byron Bay. So this vlog is going to be really exciting however I have fallen in love with Sydney. I didn't think I was going to love the city. With a boy. Who? No I've fallen in love with Sydney. Like I didn't realise how much I was going to love this city but I feel like it's so many cities in one I feel like it's like New York parts of LA parts of like Dubai just all in one place anyway I love it I'm now going to get dressed we're going to film and we're going to head on out so we are staying at Nomads Hostel just thought I'd give you a little oh gosh tour of my bed area there isn't really much to tour but I feel like I just need to show you it this is my bed that's it <laughs> that's, it. <laughs> that's it and then underneath we've got little cages where we put all of our stuff i really need to sort this out right guys just getting ready for today so let's choose a fit this is so painful that's like i'm a celeb real does that um, i feel like i've just swam in the crocs you get in there get i can't in there. fit in get there in there. get in there let me hold it get i can't in there. fit in there who's made it get in here <laughs> i can't get in there like, you can't too wide. no you can't you can't <laughs> Oh, it kills. Oh. I told you. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I it's too long. Oh, oh. Ooh, Jesus. Anyway, before I just got shut in the cage, that's Sorry, all I had to show you. This is where we do keep our stuff. Sometimes sleep in there from feeling it. Anyway. What's that bed books TikTok? I want to do that. Pull you out. I'm not getting in there yeah, again. No, no. Guys, we just picked up the McDonald's. Oh my God, there is so much. I've got two bags and Haz has got another two here. We literally ordered the entire menu. So, um, yeah. Yeah, the main channel video is going to be good. We have now left the hostel and that was so fun. We just got to the harbour and there was this group of people like performing and dancing. That was so good. But we are now about to hop on the ferry to go to... I keep forgetting what it's called. Manly Beach. Manly Beach, that's where we're gonna go. And apparently it's just loads of like shops, bars, and basically we're just right. gonna eat lots of food and have lots of drinks. I am losing my voice though, which is really good. Okay. Fingers crossed my voice is gonna come back. But yeah, I'm excited. Our boat is just pulling up. This is the Manly Fast Ferry, and we're gonna go up to the top. I'm so excited, I love going on boats. We have arrived at Manly Beach. It is so cute here. The only thing I was saying, I think it's just because of we're used to having like palm trees by the beach. It's so weird being by a beach but having trees that look like they belong in a park. Can't explain it, but let me show you. Look at this, like look at the trees next to the water. I can't explain it, that's the first thing that I noticed, but it is beautiful here and the weather's picked up now. It's so, so hot. Really picked the wrong day to wear a long sleeve top and cargoes. Which house has got a spider? <laughs> We've come to the rocks and me and Haz, every time we're on the beach, come looking for crabs. I love doing this, it's one of our favourite things to do. And we spotted one, but it ran straight into the rocks as soon as we saw it. But this beach is absolutely gorgeous. If you visit Sydney, please get the 20 minute ferry to here. It is so, so worth it. The whole just vibe here is just so chill and relaxed and I love it. The beach is gorgeous.
We are just sat on the rocks and I honestly just feel so content with life. It's one of my favourite things to do ever. Just sit and watch the sea. That walk's cold. And I love it. Man. Is it cold? Yeah. It's so pretty here. I'm so happy. Literally, I want to move to Australia. It's been here two days and I already want to move here. Guys! What the fuck? Oh my god, there's loads. What Stop it. No. We were just walking back like, oh my god, we didn't see any. <gasps> Stop it. Oh my god. Oh my god. We have come to a place called Butterboy and this is apparently meant to be amazing ice cream so we are going to try some. Guys, all of this looks unbelievable. I, I honestly God, I don't know what to go for. This is all cookie dough. Look at all these Nutella chocolate chips. Oh my God, the red velvet one looks, oh my God, I want that one. Was it Wednesday? Yeah, only two days. Oh my god, that tastes like a brownie. Oh so Guys, we've come into a gift shop and I have really wanted a cuddly koala. And I think I'm going to get this one with the Australian flag. I don't know if the flag's going to annoy me when I'm cuddling it in bed. However, I feel like I need to get one with. Do you think? I don't know. What? No, but these are cute. Or do I get this one? Oh, I don't know, but I'm going to get one of them. a little baby. It's got Stop it. That one's cuter. Do you think that's cuter? Yeah. We went to the gift shop and I did in fact buy a koala. This is literally the one thing I said that I wanted. I got the one with the Australian flag because we figured out I can actually cut it out. So I'll take it out when I'm going to bed. But we need to think of a name for the koala. So please comment down below. Some names for her. Oh, Kevin. Kevin the koala. Shallow, so I call him Kevin. Like, oh, I like Keith. Like, this is Keith. Key. This is Keith the koala. We have arrived at Karen's diner. I am nervous. When we went in Manchester, they did not hold back. But obviously, it's going to be Australian humour. So I don't know if it's going to be very different, but I'm excited for this. Have you ever heard of an iron phone? <laughs> <laughs> and the crafts. Oh, Not the crafts. <laughs> Where are all our hot dogs? Oh, really? Yeah, it says on there. No, I think we have hot dogs. I am about to surprise Atticus with something so beyond exciting and I don't really know how he's going to react. I don't think he knows how he's going to react. So, established titles is a fun and novel way to help preserve the natural woodlands of Scotland whilst helping global reforestation efforts. It's basically a project based on historic Scottish custom where landowners are actually referred to as lords and ladies. The title pack, which I'm going to be surprising Atticus with, actually gives you at least one square foot of dedicated land he's gonna freak. And the land has a unique plot number on a private estate in Edelston in Scotland. And you also get an official certificate and crest, which I think Atticus is also gonna freak out about. And they actually work with One Tree Planted and Trees for the Future. And with every order, they actually plant a tree. And the first 200 people that actually purchase a title pack using my link in the description box down below is actually going to be next to Atticus's plot or within walking distance, which is just so exciting. So you could basically become a lord or a lady. So like Atticus is now like Lord Atticus Kings North and can put that on like a plane ticket. Like my eight year old brother is now going to be a Lord. I'm so excited about this. I have got the digital certificate to show him on my phone and then they're also sending a like physical one as well, which he can have, then he can frame it in his room. Hi. Hi. So you know how you love the whole like 
king, queen, lord, lady. Oh yeah. Type of going on. Yeah. How would you feel if you are now going to be called Lord Atticus Kingsnorth? Good. Like officially Lord Atticus Kingsnorth. Good. You now own a bit of land in Scotland. Yeah. Look, this is your certificate. Mm. And what does it say? Lord Atticus Kingsnorth. Established titles has agreed with the Lord this day for the sale of a plot of land of one square foot in particular, the plot of land identified and described with, and then you've got your little plot number. So you now own a little bit of land in Scotland and you are now Lord Atticus Kingsnorth. So if you buy a plane ticket or if you go on the plane now, yeah. we can put you as Lord Atticus Kingsnorth instead of Mr. Really? Really. Even when I'm an adult I'll be. Yeah, you are now a Lord for life. I know. How cool is that? That is so cool, isn't it? <laughs> or when you get like a credit card, you can put yourself as Lord Atticus Kingsnorth. You're welcome, I knew you'd love that because I know that you love the whole like Lord Lady and everything. So yeah, you are Lord Atticus Kingsnorth. Give me five. How cool is that? <laughs> so cool. And you're going to get a certificate as well that says Lord Atticus Kingsnorth. Yeah. It's being sent to you and you can put it in a frame and you can put it in your bedroom. I know. At only eight years old. At only eight years old, you are now a Lord. Atticus is clearly over the moon with the gift and it does make the perfect last minute gift as well So if you're struggling what to get someone you can now make them a lord or a lady and get them a piece of land And established titles are also running a sale right now where if you use this code that I'm going to pop on screen here You can actually get 10% off your order You guys can actually head to the website that I'm going to put here and you can pick up your gifts now And guess what? No. With every order they plant a tree so they've also planted a tree Which helps global reforestation efforts Really? I know High five. Okay, let's get back to the vlog. I don't know if any of you are going to recognise this, but this is actually the hostel where the Inbetweeners 2 was filmed. This was like one shot in the film, I think, but I remember, maybe I'm remembering it wrong, but I remember it being rainbow rather than white. So obviously they've redecorated it since they shot here, but how cool is this? I feel like I'm just living my Inbetweeners 2 fantasy this like trip. We've come up to the kitchen and this is where everyone keeps their food. We need to actually do a food shop and there is an Audi just down the road, but this is so cool that everyone just has their own little shelves. And then here is the kitchen. You've got four hobs there got all the utensils and the sinks over there and then over here you've got even more shelves to keep all of the food this is crazy like, i'm so excited to just like be here and experience this I'm not sure what is down these stairs but let's go down and have a look what's down here oh wow oh my god there's a big lake there's like loads of tents and like teepees around it look at the little lizard oh my god it's so cute I'm scared it's gonna absolutely pelt it one at me but it's really cute there's so many of them everywhere i've seen loads of them oh here is the lake and I think there's like loads of different places you can stay in this hostel. We've actually not checked in yet. We're just doing a little tour before we can check in at two. But it's like loads of tents and like camping over there and then there's the main rooms over by the pool. This is so cool having it all around the lake. I feel like there's so much to explore at this hostel. It says lakeside, campground, wreck and tallows. I think that's what it says. So we're going to go this way. Oh wow, look at all the little, well not really little, but look at the paintings of the surfers. That's so cool. Another little lizard down there. And then... Oh, there's women's. There's toilets. This is so cool. I feel like I'd never learn my way around here because it's so big, but this is so sick. Oh wow, so there's like full on houses. And this is the lake with all of the little huts round. Oh my God, it's so cute. That little bit over there as well where you can sit and just overlook the lake. Oh my God, this is beautiful. We are literally in the middle of nowhere and I love it. <laughs> We have just walked into the local town and we've come to an Audi because we need to get food. We're all starving um, and we need to buy stuff to put in the kitchen. So first time to do a little food shop in Australia. I really want to get some fruit. So I'm going to get a punnet of strawberries. <gasps> these look so fresh. We keep seeing these as well at services and they look so good. I definitely want to try these at some point. Chocolate latte. Oh no, chocolate flavoured milk and then an iced coffee. Instead of doing a big food shop, we're actually just getting little snacks. And I had one of these the other day as well in Sydney and they're so, so so nice and then for tonight's snack i'm gonna get some chicken noodles do you know whether to get some beef ones as well i'm gonna try them first and then if i like them i'll come back tomorrow and get some more i have now picked up a basket i feel like i need to suss out the kitchen more before i buy actual food um and see what
what we're doing over the next few days but this is what i've got so far is it really weird that i want to buy some olives i just love olives so much i've like in bed at night oh my god jesus that's a big jar mm, very tempted by these all of these that look so good right now but i'm really annoyed i didn't check if we have a freezer or not at the hostel i would love to take some of these back these mini frozen yogurt ones look so good oh go on girls this is when um, the genie comes out the lamp in Aladdin. Where have you got this from? They made it just sit down. Shake, 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 shake
so annoying i think it's just like being really run down the time difference being absolutely shattered and just adjusting really to the whole new kind of like lifestyle that we're living and i think my body just like reacts really badly to change so that is why i've got that also can we just say really embracing the natural hair right now i washed my hair last night this is my complete natural hair put a couple of braids in it thought i'd embrace it and i'm just really enjoying it i am starving however so i do need to go and get some food also just want to do a quick shout out to my adventure project who has been absolutely amazing with booking everything that we are actually doing shout out to them make sure you guys follow them on instagram because seb especially has been incredible we're sorting out our itinerary booking everything booking the hostels booking the overnight buses so if you guys do want to come travel australia just like i am as well i would definitely recommend using my adventure project right i'm now going to go inside i am going to pack my backpack for today and we are going to head out i'm really excited because it's so hot as well i cannot wait to fingers crossed finally tan i actually got a bit of a tan yesterday no it doesn't look like it because i look so pale but i actually did so i feel like once i've done these six weeks in australia i'm actually going to come back tan for once <laughs> Oh my god. Right. Yeah, it's wild. Wow. It's so good. Mm. I wish I got this one now. That is unbelievable. That one's really tight thing today. But when I got it, also, I just do like this one. It's a bit like a little tie. It's like very juicy and proper juicy. I was saying in my last Australian vlog that I wanted to try the strawberry twirls and these Mars pods and I forgot to buy the twirls but I did buy these and they are the nicest thing I've ever tried. Try one of these. What are they? Are they crunchy? Mm hmm They taste a bit like ice gems. Mm. They're so good. Oh my god, it smells like when you bake cookies. I don't know if I like it. Really? They're like wafery at the bottom. And then like a layer mm. of like marshmallow on top. Oh my god, wow. Oh, they're really nice. Mm -hmm. I didn't really like it though until I broke the middle. They taste a bit like of nothing. I don't think I like them. I can't eat the whole bag in one after I had the bag for like three days. Back. I think it's the wafer that I don't like. The wafer mm. tastes bad. Let me try it again to see if it was just a bad one. We still need to try Tim Tams as well. They're just like a peg of a biscuit. No, it tastes bad. Don't like it. Oh, I really liked them. Well, anyway, now we're off to the beach. We were going to do the lighthouse walk today, but we want to get tarot readings at three, and it's two hours there and two hours back. So instead, I'm going to go to the beach. We have just come out of the sea. I have burnt badly. Even though the UV's only seven today. Well, yesterday it was 10.8, which is ridiculous. Um, but that was so much fun. I felt like just a little kid being back in the sea. We were like jumping in, like riding on the waves and stuff. I feel like that got us ready when we have a surfing lesson on Wednesday, which I'm actually really nervous for because I've never really, well, I've never surfed before at all. We were watching some of the surfers and they are so, so good. We're just looking for a ice cream now because it's so hot. I feel like I need like an ice cream and a nice cold can of Coke. And then we're going to head back to the hostel and fingers crossed we can get it but there's a tarot reader and i'm so intrigued to get my tarot card read by her so fingers crossed we can get that and then we've got the tam show later which i'm so excited about as well on our way for looking for ice cream so we spotted all these cute little shops and i love them we were just saying that like, if you forget anything all the little beach shops are so cute and i wish i had more room in my bag so i could buy stuff like this like the shorts and the t-shirts i love them we have found an ice cream shop called gelato so i'm assuming this is going to be amazing what ones have they got oh my god so good raspberry peanut tiramisu honeycomb oh my god <gasps> nutella i'm getting nutella ice cream got my ice cream i got white chocolate and i got nutella that white chocolate one is amazing mm -hmm. so it's a nutella one i love ice cream yeah. One of the mats, I think it's, it's talent it's show time. And I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> and it's coming up. And it's coming up in a minute. Right now. I can't get too much excited. Delicious and nutritious, you see, and it doesn't have to 
have to be penises and vaginas, no, baby. Give it the old Irish Good morning everyone. Oh my god, do I look rough. Please ignore what I look like. It is so early right now. It is, I think it's about five to six. And today is the day we're doing our skydive. It is our first activity that we're doing and I'm absolutely terrified. And actually straight from the skydive, we're going kayaking with dolphins. So it is gonna be incredible, but I'm so scared for this skydive. Last night was amazing. It was like, because basically we arrived in our hostel on a Sunday and they don't do anything on a Sunday night. Like it's just a very like chilled, like bring your own drink sort of vibe. And then last night there was actually a talent show and it was insane to see like everybody from the hostel everybody from the local town came in and we met loads of people like made some really nice friends which is really nice and it was just incredible like i really feel like we're living like the proper like australian life now which is so fun but yeah like i said we're doing a skydive this morning i'm just waiting for soph and jazz or one of them to plait my hair for me i'm gonna have like a really tight french braid because obviously we're gonna be 15,000 feet in the air which is terrifying but i've always wanted to do a skydive i literally just rang my mum and i was like mum like i love you like i'll let you know how it is it's literally been one of my dreams to do a skydive for years and i felt like what better place to do it than with your best friends in australia over byron bay so yes we are gonna have some food i'm gonna plait my hair then we're gonna get picked up i don't actually know what time we do the actual skydive they're picking us up at five to seven so i assume probably like nine half nine ish and then yeah we're going kayaking with dolphins so today is gonna be a really fun day and then tomorrow we've actually got a surf lesson in the morning and then we're doing a brewery tour after so a jam-packed two days but it's going to be really fun i'm excited to actually start doing like activities and stuff now because we've had a lot of free days and then on wednesday we're going to do the lighthouse walk because we were going to do it yesterday but then ended up just going in the sea which was really fun i actually love doing that i love just going in the sea and like jumping through the waves and stuff so yeah let's go and do a skydive i'm so scared <laughs> We're all checked in and we are ready to go. We are gonna have to borrow some of their clothes because they said to us it's gonna be like 25, 30 degrees lower in the sky than what it is now. And it's really cold because it's the morning still. But here is the plane, it's tiny. Like it really is so small. Um, but we're all going up together. We've tried to go, we're, well, we're hoping to go in an order of Haz, then Jazz, then Soph, then me, then Byron. But yeah, oh my God, this doesn't feel real. I can't believe I'm actually about to do this right now. Like I've always wanted to do a skydive. Tanisha, Tanisha actually has the best memory ever. I don't know how, but she just messaged well, me saying, cause I just put it on my Sorry that I'm doing a skydive and she was like, oh my god, you're finally doing it. Like, I'm so proud of you. It just doesn't feel real that we're about to do this. And we've bought the video package as well and the photo package. So we're gonna have footage of us flying down in the sky. But apparently we're gonna free fall for like 60 seconds and then we're gonna float around for like five to seven minutes. But we're doing it in the morning, which is a really good time to do it because we're gonna go above the clouds. And then he said the light will like reflect up onto us and then we'll come like through the clouds. Oh my god, let's do this. All that I see. You got dynamite, that smile's gonna be the end of me I bet you taste like chocolate Can I have it for free? I'm an explosion, that smile's gonna be the end of me That smile's, that smile's, that smile's, that smile's gonna be, gonna be the end of me I wanna say something but You are all that I see You got dynamite, that smile's gonna be the end of me I bet you taste like chocolate Can I have it for free? explosion and that smile's gonna be the end of me hi everyone i wanted to film this clip after we did the skydive because i felt like i filmed one and it didn't really make sense because i couldn't hear myself because my ears are still popped and they are still popped but i'm gonna redo a clip anyway that was the most insane experience of my life i would not be putting in a lot of the footage of me actually falling from the sky because i don't know what happened to my face i just obviously me and like the wind don't really like come together as one and my face just kind of went like not like as snatched as I wanted it to, instead I kind of like I had gills. Like it was just like a really interesting look for me. However, the actual feeling and the experience. Why are you laughing? Who's that? <laughs> oh my God. Honestly, the raw footage of everyone jumping out of that plane is the best thing ever. Sophie had her mouth open the whole entire time. But it was just amazing. Like I've never experienced a feeling like that in my life. It was so like euphoric. But also at the same time, you feel like nothing. Like, cause you can't hear anything for me anyway. My ears popped so it went dead silent when I was up there. And I was just looking at like, the sea and then the land and then like i could see everyone like flying above me and i was like proper smiling at everyone like just 
but like the fact that we were all flying, I don't know, it was really weird. The best part though was the free fall. I did, I, at one point, I'm not gonna lie, I, I couldn't breathe. I was very like, <laughs> shit, I couldn't, what, I couldn't breathe. I didn't know that somebody had told Jazz, like, if you can't breathe, scream. Nobody told me that. But scream so, because apparently it like, gets oxygen into your Yeah, lungs. like the airways, but instead I don't not really know. Not scream what... like, oh my god, I'm gonna die. Oh yeah, no, like scream so you can like get air down you, but nobody told me that. So I was like struggling for breath at one point and really didn't know what to do. But then I managed to sort myself out, but the free fall was like the best part ever that you literally just like fall at a plane drop and then that's it like, i can't explain the feeling but if you ever get the chance to do a skydive you need to do a skydive that is probably the best thing i've ever done in my life and doing it with my best friends as well like watching us all like drop out the plane one by one and all like floating yeah, in the sky together has go first. yeah has we looked at each other like oh my god what has just happened Look, she just pelted like you just literally drop and like that it's like my instinct switched like oh my god to go and, like her. grab her yeah like, i just gone and it's because like you're in the cloud so disappear into the cloud like you can't see them fall they just go like once they're in there your guy then... like jumped out of you my guy yeah yeah i didn't sit on the edge for like because has was sat on the edge for a while and then my guy just went and like he didn't even tell me like my legs thank god were already up and i just i just went into the canals it was so much fun though you need to do it but it's it's still so early it's not even 11 o'clock and we're gonna now go kayak with some dolphins which is gonna be fun oh, like, i'm gonna be absolutely shattered after today because my body mm. doesn't do well with a lot of physical activity because i'm not very strong but i'm gonna try and kayak anyway <laughs> We've just done the dolphin kayak. I am shattered. Oh my god, my eyebrows said slipped. I have never kayaked before. And I... Is that what? Yeah, it's dripping down my back. I honestly. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> what I was saying was, Guys, I just got to on the dolphin kayak. Guys, how would you rate? No, anyway, back to the Anyway, back, back to, to it. Um, <laughs> kayaking is so hard. It was, um, As you guys know, I don't really go to the gym or do much like physical activity. So doing a skydive yeah. and not, a kayak yeah, in yeah, one day was a lot. And we were going it's far it's into the ocean. Like we went really, okay, really fast. Eight kilometers, eight kilometers like it's into the ocean. And we were a lot further than we We saw a dolphin, which was really fun. Insert has a clip here. Oh my god! Oh my god. I didn't see the tail, which is really I sad, but when Sir has a clip of the dolphin because she did get a clip of the dolphin. And the right doesn't look very good. I'm going to have a good one. Cheers, guys. Cheers, guys. I'll show you when that's How good does this look? This reminds me a lot of. Now I've started my sentence, but I can't remember the place what it's called. Oh, by Chloe. This is like very by Chloe vibes. It's so cute. I got garlic mayo, I got the classic burger, and I got some chips. So let's give it a try. These chips are really good. They're like really good. Wow, those chips are amazing. Better than McDonald's. Oh, crazy. Oh my god, this burger looks so good. But we do get plastic. We've got bacon. Yeah. Oh my god, that is unbelievable. I don't know. Good morning, everyone. It is the last day that I am going to vlog for this particular vlog. It is Wednesday today, and we are up again, bright and early. I've still got my French braids in from yesterday, and we are actually going to have a surfing lesson this morning, which I'm really excited about. It's going to be it's either a three hour or a four hour lesson on the beach. Fingers crossed, I'm actually going to be able to surf. It's really, really hard. I've never surfed before. I watched everyone surf in Wales, but I was too cold to get in the sea, which I know is kind of pathetic. I was also really unwell. So this is my first time surfing, which I'm excited for. I'm just about to head downstairs because we have put a wash on in the washing machine. So we're gonna go and get all of our washing out. We just washed all of like our towels and stuff. So they're all clean for when we get back. But yeah, I'm excited. Like I said, never surfed before. This is gonna be a first for me. Has will take my camera. Let's insert some clips here. So everyone, we are now back from surfing. Please ignore the wind. I don't actually know if you're gonna be able to hear me, but I'm all showered. I have just popped my hair half up, half down because we are about to do a brewery tour, which I'm excited for. We're getting drunk for the first time this trip. I just wanted to tell you guys about the surf lesson because it was amazing. I will pop that out on screen here. Gary slash Gaz, you were amazing. I told him that I was like really scared of the water and going underwater. I had a really bad experience with water when I was younger. So like putting my head underneath the water really scares me. Like I don't jump in pools. I don't don't jump in the scene, nothing. And I told 
told him and he was amazing he told me like the, the perfect technique on how to surf and after like three goes i managed to actually stand up on the board and like fully go like a proper like ride a wave which was amazing it was so much fun if you're in byron bay i would definitely recommend that you use his surf school for lessons like i said i would have put the out on screen already but it was amazing gary you were amazing we all had so much fun and like i said now we are about to go and do a brewery tour so i'm all showered i'm all clean i feel so much better apart from the fact i haven't actually washed my hair yet i put this like curl jelly in it and i've like scrunched it so we're just gonna see how my hair dries but i'm gonna wash it when we get back but yeah let's go to the brewery tour i'm excited even though i don't really like beer i don't think it's gonna be fun and i'm gonna try and make myself like beer now this is the company we are doing the tour with behind the barrel i'm so excited they pick you up from a hostel as well which is so good <laughs> which is the only and last um, farmers union when it comes to cane left in Australia. So if you are oh, really? uh, a little bit. Is it? Oh my god, it's so thick. Right. Yeah, I'm scared. It smells like licorice. Is this licorice flavor? Yeah. Yeah, no, Ooh, it's got so tight. It's so tight. Oh, a little bit. I think I like licorice. Mm. <laughs> I quite like it. It's like it's like yeah. Ooh, I quite like it. Yeah. I've got a wet thing on it. The drink with has, cause has is our mate. And when we drink with has, she gets it down in eight. <laughs> The next stop on the brewery tour is Stone and Wood, and this is where we're trying beer. I don't normally like beer, so I'm excited to try it's this. Wasted. No, I'm not. We're ordering some food, um, but yeah, I'm excited. These are the three drinks we're about to try. I don't know if I've ever spoken about how much I don't like beer normally on my channel, but it scares me, so I don't know how this is gonna end. Guys, we are at the next place. Oh, thank you. And we have got a bottle of wine. Oh, so but you pour in. Uh, <laughs> I've mean, heard information about the wine before. I want to know what it is. It's really, it's really, it's really, really wine. It's really gentle on the palate. Oh. You have to, you have to put a little bit in and stuff. Is it quite smooth? Do you want to taste? Yeah, we all do. Yeah. yeah. We all do. No, you have to get one person and then we'll all do it. I'm sorry, it'll be lovely. Oh, thanks, Jazz. This is lovely. Cheers, everyone. Cheers, thank you for having us. So we are at the next location and they actually play music to the alcohol in these containers because the vibrations help it. it. What? Everyone subscribe to me. You are desperate nowadays, it's kind of embarrassing. What's this one? It sounds like mid and like whistling. Oh, apparently one of them was drum and bass. <laughs> She's not putting it in. She won't. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I can't remember. Anna's is awful. Like, no, in context of my vlog, I've not put my skydive, like my awful. actual face in the skydive because I don't know what happened to It's me. because when, you, when you're flying through the air, obviously you're yeah. seen with a clip of me doing it. Anna, your, your skin like flies <laughs> off. I look horrific in mine. But Anna does Anna not look. If you saw the footage and someone said, who is this? You would not say it's Anna. Like, it's so awful. Anna, yours is nothing next to mine. It's the fact your mum's like, oh my god, you look beautiful. Did your mum actually say it? She was going, oh, oh darling. darling. Oh, darling. <laughs> 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 you look you more of a man than the man behind her. <laughs> yeah, I know. Something's not you're right. You're like a Roger that, that, works in, that works in HR. Roger, there's nothing there. <laughs> <laughs> Anna, wait, I've got a hair one. Like Actually, no, Anna, to be fair, ugly. one of mine is. Anna. <laughs> I said she looks like Judy Cortez. <laughs> Judy Cortez. I have like the odd nice one uh. from the side. Anna, I have Where's no nice one? ones. Can't That's my thumbnail, this. I can't even have my face in it. <laughs> The best, your French bread. the best thing that. is, it's that one on the top of my forehead. Some of it. I'm not using any other. We are now back from the brewery tour and I know I actually look kind of presentable for the first time in this vlog. We have decided that we're going to go out tonight so I've put some makeup on, freshly washed my hair and I feel so much better now. But I just want to thank you guys so much for watching this first big weekly vlog. I feel 
feel like this is going to be probably the longest vlog I've uploaded on my channel, but probably my favourite vlogs that I've ever uploaded as well. We did so much in this vlog and we've got so much coming up that I'm going to be able to show you guys, which I'm so excited about. So thank you so much to My Adventure Project again for giving us this amazing experience. We love you and I will see you guys very soon for a brand new video. Bye!